Hi everyone, I am Miss Lily from the H channel. Nice to see everyone again. Um, today I have two lovely ladies with me. Uh, but before I start asking them questions, I'd like to share something here. You know, recently Penang actually uh, been uh, ranked world number three uh, best retirement, you know, in year 2021. So Asia is actually number one. So you see, Penang is such a beautiful city. Why Penang being selected for the world number three best retirement city in the world? There are a few reasons. Okay, number one is because that Penang we have a very good medical tourism. Okay, and it's a very affordable in terms of the cost. And the majority of the doctor here are Malaysian and they are actually educated in overseas. Okay. Number two is actually definitely because of the education, because here we have a lot of international school, but the uh, school fees is very, very affordable and they have many syllabus. Okay, and um, a lot of the students, when after they study here and they also can study the A level here, and thereafter they can actually go to the university in UK, US, and Australia for their study, for the study. And number three is definitely the cost of living. You know that Penang, the cost of living is very, very affordable. And actually, if we have a breakfast between a 10 ringgit, I can actually have my breakfast here in Penang. Okay. And the fourth is definitely the great weather. You know that Malaysia is all only rain and sunny. Okay. We don't have any disaster. Okay. And every day we have a very beautiful sunny day, raining day, and the weather is very, very nice. Okay. And uh, last, definitely we have a friendly people here in Penang like me. Okay. So we are very friendly and we know a lot of the languages like English, Chinese, Mandarin, Cantonese, and our local direct like Hokkien, Teochew, you know. So that's why a lot of the, uh, the people from the world, when they come here, they feel it's very easy to get used to it because the communication-wise, there is no issue. So uh, we are congratulate Penang and we are Penang Lang. Huh? So we are also very proud to say that Penang is actually ranked world number three best retirement home 2021. And in Asia, Penang is number one. Okay, so we welcome uh, people who love to come and retirement, please think about Penang. Okay, we welcome you. And also, a lot of people say, do we have any direct flight to Penang? Yes, we do have. Like, we have direct flight to Thailand, Taiwan, Vietnam, Singapore, Hong Kong, even in Shenzhen, China also, we do have the direct flight. And we also have direct flight to UK, via Qatar Airline. So you can see that there are no problem for you to fly over to Penang. The destination, we do have a lot of international flight here. Of course, currently, because of the pandemic, we cannot travel, but very soon, I hope, yeah, we can travel all over the world and we welcome people to visit us in Penang. Okay, now we have a very lovely two ladies here with me okay so we have jen jen the sister right elder sister and jay here are with me okay so hi so they are actually from hong kong okay but today we will use the english to communicate because uh, jay is actually studying in international school here in penang okay so maybe uh, jen and jay maybe you introduce yourself to our viewer here Sure. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Jen and this is my sister Jay. She's 15 years old and uh, we're like our family is from Hong Kong and uh, we've been here for just over a year now. Okay, so you can see they actually follow their parents. Their parent is actually from Hong Kong and they choose Penang to retire. Okay, and we are now at Alila 2 at Tanjong Munga. A lovely place to stay here. I also stay here actually. We are neighbor now. <laughs> we are friend and also neighbor. Okay. And uh, Jen is the elder sister, is 19 years old. Yeah. 
and uh, I heard that Jen is currently do the online classes. Eh? Uh, she's supposed to go to Canada for university in Canada, but because of the pandemic, he, she chose to actually come to Penang and stay with the parents here in Penang and do the online classes. Yeah. So how is your online classes so far? Yeah, you know, because of like travel restrictions and quarantine requirements, I've decided to stay here, but Thinking on the bright side, it's good because I get to spend more time with my family, of my very annoying sister. <laughs> <laughs> and annoying sister, very good cool person. <laughs> yeah, but hopefully, like as COVID gets lifted, I get to go back soon and enjoy my uni life there. <laughs> okay, so how about Jay? I think Jay was uh, in uh, Lila too earlier than the sister, right? Yes. And uh, Jay was actually, uh, came here with the father first actually, okay? Yes. And uh, she has been studying in Upland International School from one year plus now. So maybe Jay can share with us how is your living here in Penang? Well, first talk about the living. At first, I was like shocked because I'm thinking, why am I going to Malaysia? <laughs> Hong Kong might be a better place. Yeah, I'm shocked. Like, I, I love Hong Kong and I would love to stay there longer. And suddenly I need to come to a new place that I'm not familiar with. Mm. So I was very nervous mm. and I knew that I need to go to an international school. I never talked that much English in my entire <laughs> life. So I was like worried about my English ability. However, when I came here, I met a lot of people in my school, like they're from different countries, like Japanese, mm. Koreans, and French, like Mexicans. Okay. And I really talked more English, which is a good thing. But do you learn any other language? Yes, I did. I, I did learn a bit of like Korean and Japanese because oh, Spanish, I'm your yeah, your and Spanish, yeah, <laughs> and Spanish because of my syllabus. I'm okay. doing IGCSE right now. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Mm. And I learned different subjects that I've never learned before in Hong Kong, like design and technology. That's okay. a really new thing to me. All right, okay. I struggled a bit, but now it's okay. And and I also learned Spanish, which I love languages a lot okay yeah oh good mm -hmm. so it means uh, earlier when she's here she's like why i'm here okay she love hong kong i love hong kong also okay i i uh i hope we can fly to hong kong soon okay but when she is here she says like, why sh should i come here you know with the father right originally because the mother is still working in hong kong okay so when she's here she's like wow why <laughs> i'm here in a small island in penang so, but now I'm glad that she is get used to it and she have, uh, she have a lot of friends eh? and she learn uh, languages, you know, uh, where she, she not managed to do that in Hong Kong, but now she have a lot of friends like Korean, Anyonya Seyo, and she also know Japanese and Spanish. Yeah, very good. So, so now you have been one year plus here, right? Yeah. So you on just, uh, uh, on top of the education, anything that you want to share here? Yeah, so as a student, I can get stressed easily. And in Penang, it has a really good environment because in Hong Kong, it's mm. really crowded and yeah. everyone is like fast paced. Mm. And here it's like totally, the diff <laughs> totally different, but, 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 but it's a good thing. Okay, yeah. it's a good thing. We, we walk very slow. Yeah. yeah, it's like so chill. Hong relaxing. Kong is walking so fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very and relaxing here. Yeah. Yeah, so mm. it calms me down and living here, it feels like summer vacation every day. Okay. So I don't really stress <laughs> about my academics. I, I pay attention on those, but it's more relaxing, you know. Yeah. I don't get stressed that much. Yeah, yeah. And also important that now the mother is also here in Penang. Yeah. The mother also is retired. So now he, she's very, both of them very enjoy because the mother will cook every day, okay? Yeah. Right? Because uh, here, in living here, it's actually very convenient and uh, it's actually it's near to the wet market, you know, and uh, the as I say now, because why people choose here for retirement because of the cost of living is actually um, very low. Yeah, correct. So I actually also try to sometimes have breakfast uh, with them, you know, because we are now uh, neighbor. Okay. So uh, uh, Jen, you know, because Jen is actually um, uh, doing online classes. As you know, there's a time zone difference. Yeah. Yes. So actually Jen is like 
people sleeping, she is study. Okay, so how is going on your study? I mean, to be honest, it's not too bad. It, it gets a little depressing at night, but yeah. like when I when when the sun comes up, and I sometimes go to the park for like a like jog. Mm. And I see people like starting to get ready for the day. Okay, so it's really refreshing and really energizing here. Okay, yeah. so uh, we hope the pandemic over soon. Okay, so then Jen can fly to Canada to continue. <laughs> Uh, her study, okay, okay, Jay. I want to ask you, you know, because you 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 are actually here for one year, one year plus. So, do you manage to enjoy the uh, the food here? Because Penang is also famous with the uh, local hawker food, and Penang actually have a lot of food like Nonya food, you know, Chinese food, Korean food, Japanese food, and etc. So, what do you think about the Penang food? Well, at first, you know, I thought. Malaysian food is like spicy, like you know nasi lemak, laksa. Yeah. Those are like spicy, and I, and I was worried, like, oh my god, am I going to eat those like every day? And I I can't eat spicy food, so I was like so worried about my food. Oh. <laughs> but, so but then, so what what kind of food that you like? In, well, as long Kenai? as there are like Chinese food, it will be fine. But then since I came here, I realized there are like so many Chinese. Korean, Japanese, and even like Ar Arabic, is yeah. it? Yeah, Arabian food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Nebulon, is it? Yeah. Yeah, and I never tried those in Hong Kong, maybe because they're not that common. Yeah. And in here, they are like halal food. Yeah. Like those restaurants just for halal food. Yeah. So. Oh, the, the Malay food, halal oh, yeah, yeah, food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. So. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you do enjoy, huh? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yes, actually Penang is one of the one of the this uh, main reason why people choose here to retirement because we also have many many food from various country, you know, like Chinese food, Malay food, Indian food, Arabian food, Nonya food. Okay, we have many many food here that you can enjoy but with a cost of very reasonable. Okay, Jay because uh, Jay has shared with us about the food and Jen so you has been uh, studied at night. So um, when you stay here at Alila Chu, uh, what do you think about the common facility here? Um, I mean, it's great. There's like a really nice pool. You get to enjoy the mountain view. And there's okay. also a really well equipped gym. So like sometimes when I want a little stretch from my studies, I go to the gym. And um, I really like the view here. It's spectacular. You get to see like sunsets and sunrise, both mountain view and ocean view. So yeah, the view is definitely like amazing here. <laughs> okay, so as you know that you know Penang, we have hill, we have sea, you know. So yeah. it's not easy to find a place that we have. You have the hill at the back, and then you in front you have the very full uh, panoramic sea view, right? And also every day we look at the green. Like uh, now actually it's morning, okay? So you can see enjoy the beautiful uh, sun, and uh, sometimes we can hear the bird chip. You know, it's a very nice place for people to retire here okay so um, today we are very happy you know to have these two sweet lady with me okay and uh, Jen and the Jay here with us and share with us they are living here their education experience and they have started to make some friends especially Jay okay because Jay is studying in Upland International School so uh, Jen is still um, you know study at home but I I hope I can introduce more friends to Jen okay so that they can mix around and they she can have a nice weekend with the people here. Huh? So uh, today we are very happy to and share some of their experience here. And uh, everyone, please stay tuned because we have more things to share about Penang. So I am Miss Lily from the H Channel.